Hello. If it's July, it must be Christmas or the Cheapskates Club annual Christmas in July challenge. Hi, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club. And, you know, our goal is to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing. And this is day 12 of our annual Christmas in July challenge. <sighs> How are you going? Are you keeping up with it? You know, with just a few months till Christmas, um, you know, the shopping frenzy is going to start November, December. Nobody wants to, nobody wants to be a part of it. So it's time to get going on your Christmas shopping now. Now, I think that this year especially, preparing ahead for Christmas will make it so much easier for you, for your family. You'll be able to sit back and relax and enjoy it. You know, Christmas, it might be about six months away, but you know what? My Christmas shopping's done. Well, as much as can be done this early, I have the gifts organised. Some are even already wrapped and labelled and in the present box. I have the lists for the foods that I'll need and the um, box where we put our Christmas food, our treats and things that we buy is waiting in my wardrobe so nobody can sneak into it. It's waiting there to be filled. To make preparing easier, you know, keep a list of names and ages of the people you give gifts to as well as the things they like, their hobbies, if they like a particular colour, do they have a favourite animal, um, do they collect a particular thing and so on. And to help with that, if you still get junk mail, old-fashioned junk mail, Hannah does at her new house, read it and circle any gift ideas and then make a note against the person's name of what it was, where you found it, how much it was, so that you can go back later on and compare prices if you need to. If you don't get junk mail, don't worry about it. You can find junk mail online, email flyers, Facebook, all over the place. So you can do the same thing with that. It's really easy. And another tip, if you're not in lockdown, garage sales. Garage sales are a great source of gifts. You'll often find things in new condition, if not brand new, with the labels and tags still attached for next to nothing. Op shops are another source. And you know what? With all the decluttering everyone has done over the last 18 months, they are absolutely full of bargains. I know. I've spent a week of our holidays op shopping. It's been great. But I think the best tip I have for you today is really simple. When you find the perfect gift, wrap it, label it, put it in your present box and then cross it off your list. You won't have to worry about that person and the right gift anymore. It's done. Then come time to hand out the presents, you'll be able to pick them up out of the present box and you'll know you'll have one for everybody it's already wrapped, it's already labelled, there'll be no mad frenzy on Christmas Eve with the wrapping paper and the sticky tape and labels and tags and ribbons and bows. It's already done. That's my best tip for today. If you know someone who might like our Christmas in July challenge or who might benefit from knowing about the Cheapskates Club, please use the um, share button underneath me here to send them the link. We won't spam them. They'll just get the link to the um, show and that will be it. And I'll be back tomorrow with day 13 of our Christmas in July challenge.